Have you ever wondered what it is like to work at a top startup company? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a virtual internship with Y Combinator Startup, and we're starting right now. Okay, so Y Combinator Startup partnered with Inside Sherpa to offer this virtual internship on learn how to work at a YC startup. And YC is Y Combinator. So essentially, this program is going to teach you the skills you need to build web applications for top startups. And let's look at the four major benefits of a virtual internship. So the first benefit is that the virtual internship is free. And the second benefit is that the program is self-paced, meaning that you can complete the virtual internship in your spare time and it will take approximately five to six hours to do so and the third benefit is that you're going to get practical experience working with Y Combinator and the fourth benefit is that you could share the experience that you have learned of this internship in your CV and in your LinkedIn so to help you decide let's have a look at the contents of this program Okay, so there are additionally four benefits as outlined here. So the first benefit here is you will be offered the opportunity to practice and learn in-demand skills for free. So here's your chance to upskill, to learn new skills that will allow you to get a glimpse of what it is like to work at a top startup company. And so the second benefit is that the work that you accomplish during this internship, you can decide whether to share that with amongst the hundreds of Y Combinator startup companies that are looking to hire. And so if they see that the assignment that you have submitted looks pretty good, then they might reach out to you. And this naturally leads to the fourth benefit is that if the Y Combinator startup likes you, then they will probably hire you to do a paid internship. And so some examples of Y Combinator startup companies includes Airbnb, OpenSea, Dropbox, and Instacart. Okay, and so here is an introductory video by Jared Friedman, a partner at Y Combinator. And so he will introduce you to the learn how to work at a Y Combinator startup online training program. Okay, and so let's have a look exactly what is inside this program. Okay, so the program is comprised of four modules, and it should be noted here that although there are components related to data science, much of the work here is a bit more technical, meaning that it might be suitable for software engineers and machine learning engineers. But if you're interested in these type of topics, then you can give this a try and learning the in-demand skills that you need to work at a top startup company. Okay, so let's have a look. So the first module here is working full stack, and it is about front end updates based on feedback. And so as explained here, it will be about helping to update the front end of a new productivity tool for shipping. And some of the practical skills that you will gain from this module includes React, front end engineering, web application. And the second module is working full stack and it will be on the back end update for new features. And so in this module, you'll be implementing the back end changes for the new productivity tool. And some of the practical skills that you will gain from this module includes web applications and Node.js. And the third module here is more on the data side. And so it is about analytics and you will be analyzing the latest feature releases. So you're going to check the stats to see whether the latest update has moved metrics. And so the practical skills that you will acquire here includes analyzing user data and analyzing user tickets. And the fourth module will be about improving your application to YC internship program. And so here you will be able to view some of the strong example applications. And then you will also learn how to tailor your message to specific startups. And so some of the practical skills that you will acquire from this module includes communication and determination. So this is more on the soft skill side as opposed to the previous three modules, which are more technical. Okay, so to sum it up, this Y Combinator internship program is comprised of four modules where three of the modules is more technical and it will be on the front end and the back end side of web development. And the third module will be more on the data analytics side and the fourth module will be more on the soft skills. And so I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this virtual internship program? And if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.